Hello and welcome to another video in our how to series. In this week's video we'll be talking about motion detection. Firstly we'll be taking you through a brief explanation of what motion detection is, how the setting can be used to your advantage and finally we'll be taking you through the setup process for motion detection. So let's start with that explanation of what motion detection is and give you a number of different ways it can be used to improve the efficiency of your recording. In simplest terms, motion detection allows you to choose either the whole scene or a region of the scene and then choose between three main options of how the camera should react to motion. Number one is to send an email or push notification when motion is detected. Number two is to only record when motion is detected. And finally, number three is a combination of the previous two options. These three options combined with the ability to schedule motion detection to times of the day is what makes it such a useful tool for a multitude of different situations. For example, if you were recording a pathway that ran down the side of your house or an office block and that said pathway was very busy during the day but quiet at night, then you could set motion detection to record during the night hours but turn it off entirely during the daylight hours. There are many options when it comes to configuring motion detection but this is what makes it such an interesting tool, its adaptability. Because when your requirements change, it's very easy to change the detection setup. For example, you could set more periods of detection if you were going on holiday and wanted more push notifications to keep you informed. Now that's out of the way, we can get to the main part of this video, a step-by-step -step guide of how to set up basic motion detection using a web browser. First off, before we start, you're going to have to make sure you've done these two things. One is to make sure you've been through all the basic setup of your camera or MVR and that you've set the default gateway and DNS server as shown in the first section of our forum megathread, which is linked in the top right of this video and in the description below. And the second thing is quite obvious, but it's to make sure that you've logged in to your MVR or camera via a web browser. Once you've done this, we can get started setting up motion detection. Your first step will be to find the motion detection settings in the back end of your device. To do this, first click configuration at the top of your screen. Then go to the left of your screen and click event. A drop down will appear below. Click basic event from this drop down and then click the motion tab at the top of the page when it opens. Once you've done this, the first thing you should see is the red grid over a live view from your camera. Now, if you're setting up the motion detection via an MVR, you will first have to choose the camera you will be setting up from the drop down box at the top of the page. Next, make sure the enable motion detection box is ticked and then tick the dynamic analysis for motion box if you want green boxes to appear on your live view when motion is detected to help you configure which parts of the scene are best for motion detection. After you tick these boxes, we move to the red grid, which automatically will be set to cover the whole scene. Now you can leave it like this, but if your scene is quite busy, then the software will keep being triggered and you might as well just leave it recording continuously. So instead, we're going to just choose a small area to do this, simply click clear all and then click draw area to start drawing the area you want motion detected in. And once you've finished drawing, just click stop drawing to finish. Next, you'll see a slider labeled sensitivity. Adjusting this will adjust how sensitive the motion detection will be. A value of zero will all but disable detection and a value of 100 will most likely bombard you with false alarms caused by any tree, bush or cloud moving in the scene. Leaving it at 60 is a good starting point, but you will likely need to play around with it to get it just right for the requirements of your scene. Once that's done, hit save. Now you're going to want to go back to the top of the page and click the arming schedule tab. You'll be greeted with a timeline similar to what you get setting your recording schedule. The difference is that the arming schedule will only determine the periods during which motion detection is armed, and not the periods a camera will record based on motion detection. For this reason, we would advise leaving the motion detection armed 24-7 to prevent any mishaps. If you have made any changes to the schedule, make sure you hit save before continuing to the next tab, linkage method. This is where we're going to be determining what the device will do when motion is detected. If you want the device to send you an email, tick send email. Tick notify surveillance center to have the camera send push notifications to a phone or tablet via the Hide Connect app. The third column on this page is trigger channel. This allows you to select the channel on the MVR that will record when motion is detected by the camera you're configuring. If you have lots of cameras on your MVR, make sure you know the channel of the camera you've been configuring with, otherwise you'll apply the motion detection to a different camera. 
In my case, I'm configuring channel 2, so I tick D2 and hit save. We're almost finished with motion detection. All that's left to do is set the recording schedule. To do this, go to storage in the left menu, then click storage settings in the drop down, then go to record schedule and click the drop down to select the camera. On the timeline, draw motion detection periods during the times you wish for the camera to only record when motion is detected. Motion detection is color coded to green and motion detection would need to be also armed as shown previously during these periods to successfully record. So for an example, we're going to set the camera to record motion between 5 and midnight and continuously for the rest of the day. Once you've finished planning your schedule, all you have to do is click save and then click the playback tab at the top to verify that the camera is actually recording. Now, one last thing. To set up email notifications, you will have to do a small bit of configuration, but we'll be covering this in another video as not to make this video too long. So if you want to see that next video as soon as it goes live, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do by clicking here. Check the description below for links to our Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Follow the link here for our web shop, and if you want more videos like this, check out the playlist up here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.